Hello students! Today's phrase of the day is get a head start. To get a head start means to start something early so that you get some sort of advantage. Here's an example. Imagine you are taking a literature class and imagine that today is Monday. In class, your teacher says that Wednesday's assignment will be to read five chapters of a new book. Well, you're going to have a busy day on Wednesday, so you want to start early. You go to the library today, on Monday, and take the book out from the library so that you can get a head start on the reading. Actually, I'm getting a head start right now. I need to record one video every day, but I'm getting a head start. I'm recording this video now, earlier, so that I can publish it later. I'm doing the work earlier than necessary. That's what get a head start means. Another expression related to starting things is get the ball rolling. And this means to start a process, project, or activity that might be a bit difficult to start, but then after it's started, it will continue going with its own momentum. Here's an example for that. Let's imagine that you and your neighbors want to have a summer barbecue in which everyone will participate and help out. Although you've talked about this barbecue with your neighbors, nobody is really taking any action to make it happen. So you can get the ball rolling by going to each of your neighbors and making a list and having each person agree to do certain tasks to prepare for the barbecue. You've taken the project from idea into action, and after people commit to tasks and begin getting involved, then the project will probably move forward naturally. But it takes one person, usually, to get the ball rolling, to start the process. So those are our two phrases for today. Getting a head start, meaning to start something earlier than necessary in order to get some advantage, and get the ball rolling, meaning to start a process or activity that will continue on its own momentum after someone starts it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next video for more English idioms. Thanks for joining me for the phrase of the day. You can learn a lot more phrases inside my Everyday English Speaking courses. To get started, click on the link in the video or in the description.